this is this is the biggest indicator I've ever gotten that I need to go to the gym. The poor little 125 monkey is struggling. There we go. There we go. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. We are over here at Blackman Cycle Center. This is just north of Philadelphia in Emus, Pennsylvania. That is right, I am the traveling Duke of DC. And we are on the amazing 2019 Honda Monkey. I cannot wait to ride this bike. Real quick, as always, I want to thank the sponsors of this video, Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like Blackman Cycle Center to provide the most transparent buying experience for ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and of course, motorcycles. All right, guys, you already know. Let's jump into some features and specs. 125cc fuel injected engine, hydraulic disc brakes with ABS, a fuel capacity of 1.5 gallons. We've got a four speed transmission, LED tail light, 12 inch wheels, twin rear shocks, inverted fork suspension, high rise handlebars, round chrome LED headlight, multifunction digital instrument cluster, chunky tires, and a low 30 point inch seat height all coming in at a price of $3,999 MSRP. Woo! Every time I do that, genuinely, I think I might pass out. Oh, I can't wait to ride this. I cannot wait to ride this. So you guys have seen a little bit of ooey gooey B-roll on a yellow version of this motorcycle, and that's because I wanted to show you two different paint styles. But look at this, you got the dual, shocks in the back here non-adjustable forks i mean this is as simple as it gets so this is basically a retro version of the grom and of course this bike has been around before this is the 2019 version okay this thing is <laughs> how do you take yourself seriously how do i take myself seriously on a, on a daily basis I, i'd say the answer there is just i, I don't I simply don't take myself seriously. Speed limit is 45, and I'm not gonna lie, I think that might be pushing the top of this thing's speedometer. Let's go, we're all out in fourth gear. 45, 46, 46, 45, no way. 48, 49, come on, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Ah, 54 is gonna be it for the day because I think this will be the fastest road we get on. If I got a speeding ticket on this, then uh, I just gotta say 100%, I deserve it. Take my license, cut it into pieces right in front of me. 2019 Honda Monkey. I cannot even express to you how excited I am to finally be on this. Um, I've asked every single dealership that I've been to that sells Honda if I can ride one and they've all been super into it but none of them have had them because these things sell like hotcakes. Wow this is awesome. If you lived in a city or somewhere like this where it's a smaller town that has like you know top speed 45 miles an hour to get wherever you would theoretically need to go this is the bike i bet you the kickstand trick would work to try to trip this. yeah please i was trying to but it's too small <laughs> oh thank you you can go ahead of me too yes i am thank you sir you too Oof. he popped the clutch you see that the only thing i don't like about the honda monkey is that it does not, I repeat, it does not trip lights. <laughs> that gentleman was so nice. Oh man, this is a fun little peppy bike. So we're looking at 125cc single, very similar to what's in the Honda Grom. Uh, but of course it's in this new design and this design is not so new. This design is from back in the day, the heyday, when Honda was making these bad boys left and right. The, the, everything about this screams true and honest retro mod, which is actually pretty interesting. So I just took out the Kawasaki W800, which is another bike based on an older bike. Oh my God, we're going uphill. Let's see if we can, we can't get, we have no power. We have no power. Um, and then, you know, now I'm on this, the Honda Monkey. And Honda is also producing the Super Cub, which is, I think like literally the most sold motorcycle of all time. I think 50 million sold in Asia, which is pretty, ap which is absolutely incredible. Come on, you peppy. Come on, baby. 
Come on. Come on. I'm telling you what, going down this hill is going to be a blast. Going up this hill, a little bit difficult. I think I literally might buy a Honda Monkey because this is such a good time. Uh, let's just talk about the ride because I can talk about specs for days, but you guys are here for a first ride. It's nice and plush. I mean, it's super cushy. This is not a sport bike in any uh, stretch of the imagination. You're talking about suspension that's literally compressing like crazy here. We've got tiny little tires front and rear, so not a bike you would want to take off-road either. The seat is beautifully wide, plush, comfortable. Uh, the throttle response is as one would imagine for a small little single with low cc's it's not tons of power oh wow look at that where do i go <gasps> he said i could literally just explore let's just explore this is fun um i was probably supposed to go right i'm never gonna remember how to get back and yeah so throttle response is good turn in feels good the connection you've got these kind of really interesting handlebars and it's well, basically it's because if these were clip-ons, I would be hunched over and this would actually be a little pit pocket bike like you see on, you know, Amazon or, or you know, some sort of, like Alibaba you could buy. Well, it's, where are we? Oh my God, we're like, we're like up a mountain. What? This is awesome. We're five seconds from the dealership and we're up a mountain. I'm loving it. The Honda Monkey might have the single perfect name uh, of any other motorcycle that's ever been named because this is a goofy bike. When it well, when you think of a monkey, you think of kind of like a goofy a goofy thing. Uh, and I can tell you without question, this is a goofy motorcycle. It gets stares and 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 oh my gosh! And uh, people come like that gentleman. You know, he was probably enjoying taking a look at it. He came over here and talked to me, and it's just a cool thing. So you've got four gears here and I am in the fourth gear. So one of the gripes that I have just right off the bat here, uh, and it's a pretty simple thing that would get pretty frustrating over time is I can't really see this digital uh, instrument cluster up ahead here. I don't know if it's because of the glass that's over top of it or the brightness of the display. Maybe there's a setting that you can change, but in this mode, in moderate sunshine, it's very, very difficult to see. And it's got some really good information here. So you got a fuel gauge, you've got your speedometer, you've got your trip odometer, and well, that's about it. And, and of course your overall miles. You've got your Nutrilite ABS on this motorcycle, which is really, really cool, especially for a bike this small and this inexpensive. Turn signals, horn, see what the horn sounds like. Actually, this is a great horn. I've been on some motorcycles that are a lot bigger than this that sound like some dinky little mofos. All right, let's go for a top speed run. 46, 48, 50, 51, 52, 52, 51. <laughs> That's about it. I, I mean, there's no point in like going the top speed on this thing. Um, it, I would never take this on the highway. I was even like hesitant to take the Z125. This is a step further back from that. I would say this is a little bit slower than you're get, what you're getting in a Z125. Uh, but much more comfortable and that's because this isn't trying to be a Grom this is its own thing this is a monkey it's it's more of like a relaxed riding position sitting I feel like I'm sitting in a chair just as you would on most of these kind of smaller bikes but I'm, I'm not so much forward as I might have been Wow I am in love with this so genuinely and I'm not kidding I know I say that like oh man I'd buy that bike and a lot of the time it is true trust me but genuinely I have been thinking about buying a Honda Super Cub because I think they're stunning. I think they're gorgeous. I love what Honda is doing, bringing back their uh, older, really successful models and doing practically nothing but of like implementing the latest safety features. So this is ABS, you know, new safety features, implementing new engine technologies, but keeping things as they were back in the day. Oh my God, where are we? Hot on the brakes right now, hot on the brakes. So as one might uh, imagine here, not a lot of braking power. You gotta be careful, especially on like a downhill mountain road that's covered in gravel and water. Um, you know, keep that in mind, like look at that. Like look at all that. I would want to avoid that like the plague. 
but more importantly it's just that this this isn't you know you can't go out and ride this like you would your sporty uh even r3 like i'm not going to compare this to an r1 or or something you know much larger or a naked bike of a uh, thousand cc's or even the fc mt07 because this is just not in comparison oh my gosh i want to stop it i can't even focus it's so pretty this is so nifty It is so nimble and flickable and light. Let me just, I love that. I love a good horn. Crap, that's a bulldozer. <gasps> I wonder if I get the monkey in that bulldozer. Look at this bike. So you guys have already seen some B-roll, but I just want to walk around and just show you kind of the amazing styling of it. You got monkey right here. You got your little one, two, five single. Pumping the horsepower out, baby. Pumping the horsepower out, baby. Dude, I love this thing. So this is what I was talking about. Look at this seat. This seat should be on every motorcycle that's ever been built, that ever will be built. If, oh God, don't fall over. It is so comfortable. All right, we're just gonna ride now. This is a pedal bike. You just have to pedal. And if you start pedaling, you'll get fitter and you'll lose weight and then the bike will go faster. This is this is science guys. Uh, welcome to Veritasium and the Bill Nye Science Guy channel. <laughs> you know it's so funny. I feel like I'm going fast. Not a chance. Like 50. 50 is going to be it. This is such a fun bike. If you live in like a beach town, oh my God, this would be amazing. You just get like an open face helmet, uh, get one of those surfboard stands on the side of here and you've got something. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. We are heading back to Blackman Cycle Center right now. This is the 2019 Honda Monkey. Uh, I absolutely adore it. I think it's a fantastic bike. It does everything it's supposed to do. It is everything it's supposed to be. Uh, I've, it's fantastic. So if you're looking for one of these motorcycles and you are north of Philadelphia, hit up Blackman Cycle Center. And if you are not in this area, go to that first link in the description to gorolic.com and see if you can't find one in your local area. As I pitter putter up this hill in the wrong gear. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying these videos, hit that like button, comment down below. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace.